Uh, Mitch, I guess a tale of two seasons for you at Leeds. Obviously, the first one you came in at the end, all the success. Yeah. Last year, a tough one. How would you sum up your time at Leeds so far? Uh, yeah, it was uh, very contrasting, wasn't it? Um, but the whole time I said I've enjoyed my rugby league uh, immensely. Um, Leeds, is, Leeds is a great club, and um, hopefully we can have a good season this year. By the looks of it, everyone's uh, ready and ready to go. There was a lot of uh, issues off the field with the training and a lot of injury problems last year. Um, I guess if there's any wish you could have as a group, it'd be that you don't suffer from injuries. You just can't legislate for it, can you? Yeah, but unfortunately that's part of rugby league, isn't it? Um, you know, it's uh, it's one of those games where the, hard, the harder you play, the more chance you are of getting injured. And um, it happened to us very early on in the season and we um, we chased our tail for, for the, the rest of the season, really. And being a Leeds player, it seems everyone always wants to beat Leeds. Have you realised that yourself now that whenever, wherever you go, whoever you play, everyone wants to beat you, don't they? Yeah, I think um, I think we did realise that early on. We didn't get any favours, did we? Um, you know, we didn't help ourselves. We didn't play well for the majority of the year. But I think early on in this, uh, sorry, later on in the season, we started to show what we could we should have been doing. Sorry for the for the rest of. The, earlier on in the year. And how hard is it as a player when the team as a whole is struggling a little bit? Is it obviously have pressure on yourself? Is it sometimes a thing that you try maybe too hard? Yeah, I think, I, I said this all last year, rugby league is the same, win, lose or draw, you, you go back every week, you do the same thing, you train the same, you train as hard as you can. And unfortunately you don't get the results sometimes. It wasn't through lack of trying, I promise. We just, um, we, we weren't good enough sometimes and that was, that was the case. And together as a group, have you spoken about or look back at, at what happened last yeah, year? Maybe what went wrong? Um, obviously, we've, we've tried to put uh, last year behind us, but there's definitely some things we took away. Um, I think some some young kids um, really really showed that they were capable to play play Super League, and um, they'll only improve from that. Um, we, we don't know what we did wrong, but we're, we're working in the right we're, we're working we're working in the right direction. I think um, we've improved some little things that we seen that we needed to do. And um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the start of the season. Uh, and good players don't become bad players overnight either, do they? So nah, that's right. You don't you don't stop being a good player. Um, you know, we things didn't work out for us um, through through our own fault, really. We um, we we just didn't complete when we needed to do needed to, and we lost a lot of games by close margins. And then some games we were just nowhere near it. But I think we've we've rectified that and. Um, it's been a great pre-season so far and we're, we're all looking forward to Boxing Day. Yeah, Boxing Day, yeah, rugby at Christmas, what's that like then as an Australian? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit different. I'm normally um, down the park playing cricket and having a few beers on uh, Boxing Day back home, but um, I'm not doing that this, this year. Um, no, last year was really enjoyable. Um, it's an early game, isn't it? And um, at the end of the day, I love playing rugby league and... Um, you know, I'll do it whenever I can. What's pre-season like? Obviously, we're sitting in other sports, football, for instance, it is quite a laid-back affair, the early pre-season game. But in rugby, you can't play it like that. You've got to come yeah, out full um, tilt, you? can't. You can't do anything laid-back in rugby. Um, you know, we're, we're treating this game as an important game for for our, our season. We need to we need to start well in everything we do, and we've done that so far with, with our training. We've uh, we hit the ground running. Everyone come back in decent nick. Um, so yeah, I, I think um, I think we're treating this game very as a very important part of our season. And looking at it from your own perspective, family perspective, obviously Christmas time, everything you're all right off the field, everything going yeah, well. Yeah, mate, I've I was quite lucky. We settled in very very early. As soon as we got here, we um, we were settled. Um, the club's great like that. They bring people in and they make them part of the family straight away. And uh, you know we love it here. We've um, um, We've got another baby due in, in May next year, so that'll be an English baby. So we, who knows, we might not talk to that one as much, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, but it is an important part. We've seen it with other players, not settling in things like that. It's important, isn't it, that if you're happy off the field, you're going to give your best on it, aren't you? Yeah, look, I, I think um, last year, I think everyone was given their best. I don't think it was a case of people not giving their best. Um, but sometimes we just weren't good enough, and I don't know. We can't really sit here and give you an answer why that was. Because some games we turned up and we we were really good, but you know that's disappointing again. But um, Leeds Leeds do a good job of making you feel welcome. Um, you know I, I love the club, and anyone who asks me about it, I, I, you know I, I can't say a bad word about them. Good stuff. Finally, what's Mitch Garbutt getting for Christmas? Probably nothing. If I name your missus, it's on that. Who knows, mate? Um, hopefully something nice to eat after Boxing Day. We'll see how we go. <laughs>